to you, everybody. My name is Lodge, and welcome back to Subnautica Experimental. Now, this episode, this is the first episode, I believe, no, second episode I have done on the computer uh, for this game. And uh, they, they've updated quite a lot to do with the water here. They've uh, made the shaders much nicer, so you can actually see quite well now. Because before, you couldn't really see very well with the new updated water. Uh, the draw distance seems pathetic, actually, at the moment. What the hell is going on? Might be something to do with the updating the draw distance or something. The water looks kind of strange as well at the moment. I think they might be doing something with it, because I think... Water quality. You can't actually change the water quality, so... This is the highest it can be, the water quality, so... I don't know. Um, okay, so basically... They have apparently added the scanner, which has been a working progress for a while. Um, and basically it's just going to replace the fragment analyzer, I believe. Um, uh, so, oh, Oh, there it is. Uh, handheld spectroscope scanner for recording atomic level information on targeted entities. So, again, quite a complicated word there. It can add alien biological information to the databank. So the databank, I think, is here. Oh. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so, Aurora Mining Vessel. Uh, overview. Mission 3, Exploratory uh, Mining Operation. Crew, Command Team 11, Engineering Team 57, Support Crew 30, and Passengers 3. Wow. Okay, so they had Dark Matter, Iron Drive, Engineering Section, uh, 0 0.25 uh, cubic kilometres for storage, Habitation Section, Okay, so standard two birth emergency life pod. Uh, so the dimensions and stuff. Uh, you can pause any of this at any time if you want to read it yourself. I won't read all of it, um, but I'll read some of it. Standard provisions. So I'm guessing this will be the stuff in the future that will come in the thing because it would make sense for there to be certain stuff in it. Um, so two environmental protection suits, one handheld spectroscope. Spectroscope scanner, which is what I have now, ready to eat rations, uh, drinking water, emergency medikit, uh, flashlight, emergency flare, and assorted replacement parts. So that makes sense. Uh, so we have equipment, we have some stuff about our equipment, so you can pour some of this. So this is the AEP suit, which is the suit that we're currently wearing anyway, um, and it basically gives us all of this heads up display and stuff. Um, so that's really cool. So there's a welcome, there's a read me. Um, okay, so it says, If you're reading this and you have survived an emergency evacuation of the capital class ship equipped with Altera technology, congratulations, the hard part is over. Oh, great, so we, we survived. Um, so this pauses. Uh, Follow its directions and we will bring you home alive. Your personal and work files have been encrypted and may be retrieved at a later date by a licensed engineer. Ooh. Okay. So these are the survival checklists. Again, you can pause these. Um... A mentor's general guide. Okay. Um, right, what is this here? These are acid mushrooms. Can we scan these? It says ready to scan. Oh, right click. Oh, that is cool. New encyclopedia data added. New encyclopedia data added. Uh, alien life forms? Flora. Acid mushroom. Oh, wow. So it actually tells you stuff about it. Inedible but exploitable in battery fabrication. Nice. Again, you can pause this if you want to read any of this. Uh, we'll, we'll scan a few alien life forms. See what they see. What it says about them. Uh, there's an air sac right there. Um. Nice. Okay, let's have a look at him. Let's see what he says. Let's go and I'll go and scan some things and then come back and have a look at them. Oh, so there's herbivores as well. Oh, there's a picture. No, a threat level none. Obviously, because they don't attack you at all, do they? Um, again, just pause it if you want to read any. That's cool. Okay, so I'm going to go and have a look at some things and start scanning them, and I'll uh, be back in a sec. Oh god. I think I'm in, uh, in, uh, Reaper territory here. I don't, didn't really mean to come here. Oh god. Um, haven't heard that scream for a while. Oh, wow, that looks so cool, that effect. Oh, also, I found a cheat. Uh, I looked online for this. There's any cheats for the scanner. Because um, I remember that for building, there's fast build and 
So there is a fast scan for scanner, which you just type in fast scan, one word, and it's, uh, it works. Oh, hang on, these little things here. These look like, uh, are these scannable? Dropping, drooping stingers, not dropping stingers. Okay. Oh, this is a cool hole. I don't think I've ever been in here before. Oh, one of you. Hello. Oh, I thought you were called jumpers. Oh, they've renamed them. Shuttlebugs. Nice. Okay. Oh, Reginald's. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Jelly Ray. Oh, and I've also noticed if you don't have it, um, if you don't have it selected, if you go over to something you haven't scanned yet, there's an information sign that comes up, which means you haven't scanned it, which is really useful. So there's an I.I. Uh, see if we can find an Oculus or maybe a Crab Snake, I'm not entirely sure. There's a Crab Snake down there, but I don't know if there'll be anything about the Crab Snakes. Okay, I don't think you can scan them. Uh, because I simply cannot find a way of being able to do it. No, I don't think you can. Here we are. This is familiar. Oh, that's scary. Oh, God. Oh, my. They look like ghost fish. Hello. Can I scan you? Deep shroom. Oh, yeah. There's some deep shroom, bro. Ugh. Are they called spine fish? Oh, that's weird. Oh, no. Oh, that makes it. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Those two creatures in one frame then gave me the creeps because one has, like, you can see through him and then the other you can. Oh, that was weird. Right, we got some information about the cave crawl. That was freaky. Oh, God. My spine went weird. Right, okay. Let's check what we've got then so far um, in our data bank. Oh my Jesus! Right, we got quite a bit. Oh wow. Okay, so now we have structural analysis, scattered wreckage. Uh, okay, you can s pause if you want to read that. Planetary geology. Oh, so you can yeah, because you can scan the limestone outcrops. So I'm guessing yes, it tells you what's normally in them. So titanium and copper. So if you scan a sandstone one, it'll tell you silver or gold, uh, stuff like that. That that's quite cool. Okay, let's go through the um, fauna because I know you guys will want to see that. I won't read through all of them, but I'll uh, I'll kind of let you read them if you want to pause the video. Oh, there's a nice picture of the uh, biter. Small aggressive specimen, 94% muscle, 4% connective tissue, 2% brain. Right, so pretty small. Lethal without proper precautions, try not to bleed. Okay, right, that's probably good advice. Um, sun shark. Herbivores up to twice its size. Oh god, that's weird. Avoid suspicion and sand clouds. Oh, suspicious sand clouds. How did I get that wrong? Stalker, streamlined predator. Um, god, that's a weird picture. He looks kind of purple there. I didn't know he was purple. Uh, natural predator of the peeper. Coerce or avoid. There you go. What's coerce mean? I, I've heard it before, but I can't remember what it means. Air sac. Uh, we've read that. Boomerang. Twin fins. Edible, meager, but reliable. I I. Uh ninety percent of the body mass is ocular. Wow. That's cool. Gary fish. Slow moving and curious herbivore. Not as edible as it looks. Oh that's a shame. Whole fish. Reliable cave food. Not entirely sure what the uh, hope thing is. Unpredictable manoeuvres apparently. Hoop fish. Edible but meagre again. Hoverfish. Edible. Yes, they're quite good, aren't they, for eating. Jelly Ray. Um, light up surrounding areas for foraging, ward away predators. Yes. Inedible. <laughs> That's a good assessment. Peepers. Overdeveloped side minded eyes. Well, yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> they're highly overdeveloped. Rabbit Ray. my One of my favourite creatures in the game. Uh, inedible but friendly. Yeah, there you go. Reef bag, nice picture. Uh, armor plating, 20 meters, Jesus Christ. That's pretty big. Uh, Reginald, yeah, they're quite good. They give you like 40 food or something, like, it's crazy. Uh, spadefish, god, he looks high. Whoa. Scavengers and parasites, I know I've missed some stuff, but uh, I'm not gonna, not gonna bother going through all of them. Bleeder, yes, not, little more evolved than the common tick, so the earth tick, little more evolved than the bleeder. Yep, they're very inconvenient. They're very annoying. Cave crawler. I didn't know these were... Oh, they're scavengers, aren't they? Rather than parasites. Four legs. 
Uh, okay, so the eye is a gas exchange membrane, so they get they breathe uh, basically. I know it's not breathing, but uh, they respirate or whatever it is through their eye ball, which is quite strange. Um, well, Shuttleberg, essential recycler in the food chain, so he's some kind of scavenger, I'm guessing. Um, mm. Presence may indicate a nearby cave system, so they're always near cave systems. Anything else here? Creep vine. Let's have a look at these. Kelp species. Yes. Predators. Hoverfish. Uh, yes. Vital alien resource. Uh, fibrous and iron rich. So yes, you can eat it, can't you? Drooping stinger. I thought these were alive. Uh, zero photosynthetic cells detected implies carnivorous adaptation to low light environments. Okay, so they... 600 watt range. Jesus Christ. Prey is likely paralyzed and consume over to Mary. Right, assessment avoid. Yes, I agree. And I found these things called tiger plants. Uh, do you remember the? They're in the grassy plateaus, the uh, red grass biome. If you don't know what gla grassy plateaus is, they're the the little annoying cactus things that shoot sp pe uh, things at you. It's really, really thorns. There you go. They shoot thorns at you at ten meters a second. Jesus Christ, they're very annoying. Uh, but I didn't know they were called tiger plants. That's really cool. So we've actually learnt quite a bit about the names and the uh, alien life forms and stuff. That's really cool. And I noticed that a lot of the um, the icons are actually done now. So there's quite a few um, things with icons now. So I just wanted to have a look through them quickly. Because they look really cool. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, go away. Uh, three, there you go. Um, okay, let's go into the fabricator. Basic, yeah, see, look, all of them have... Um, Nice. Okay, let's just open our cargo. Let's put some stuff away. See if, see if they actually have any models or anything yet. Let's have a look. Uh, titanium. Oh, wow. Nice. So they actually have... Nice. So they actually have models now. Okay, let's have a look. Titanium ingots. So I thought titanium ingots... Uh, they don't look like the bar. Oh, it, hmm. I don't think they should be that shape because they're circle. They're silicon rubber. Oh, nice! It's actually a roll of silicon. That's really cool. Okay. Um, what else? Glass. Nice. Uh, what else have we got? Bleach. Oh, it's in an actual bottle. Wow. Okay, and they have little descriptions that come up in the bottom. Lubricant. That's in a bottle as well. <laughs> nice. This is really cool detail. Uh, magnesium. Oh, they look cool. They're like they're nice textures. I like that. Uh, lead, lead balls. Nicely done. Uh, what else have we got? Enamelled glass. Nice. Uh, what else have we got? Plastic lingot. Nice computer. That is a. That is a huge computer chip. Was that like Intel or something? What? Floating. These weren't here. These weren't here a couple of weeks. Floating waterproof lockers. Floating... We have to try that out. Oh! Oh, it floats in position. That's so cool. That's really useful. You could have them all around your base. Uh, fill them up with stuff, was it? Nice. Why does it say 3x3? Three three? I swear I swear it said 3x3, three three, didn't it? Cool, so you can actually have floating... Storage, you could just have it around your base for the vital things that you need, like materials so you don't have to go in the base all the time. That's really cool. So they actually have a use now, the cubes. Otherwise they were just kind of annoying. They didn't really need to be around. Go. Thank you. Oh, they do. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, so they all have, like, really nice models. Ooh, the lag. Physics. Thank you. <laughs> so what we got here? The plastic lingot? Yeah. Lubricant. Titan the titanium looks so cool. That's a really nice model. And the advanced wiring kit looks amazing as well. That's, actually, that's quite convincing looking as a wiring kit. Let's see if I can get that to land the right way. I want to see it. No, doesn't want to. Okay. Yeah, I love the textures on them. They look really cool. So that gla enameled glass. Okay. The copper wire texture is awesome. What we've got here. Silicon. I want to see if we can get the... Uh, oh, Jesus lag. Computer chip to land the right way up. I want to see if it what it says on it. Oh no! Oh no! I've sent him into a spin. Mayday! Mayday! Computer chip down. Oh, God damn it! 
Where did it go? <gasps> Ghost chip. Hang on. Hang on. I see floaters. Can you scan the floaters? You can. I want to see what it says about floaters, because they're, they're a mystery. What will they be? An alien life forms? Scavengers? Parasite? Yes, floaters. Alright, I want to read this. Okay, so further research required. Dominant life form. Structural analysis reveals that the entity is made up of two separate species. Ooh. Pink main body and inner jaws are the dominant creature. Oh god, so it's a... Oh. That's kind of strange. It's like a mutation. The outer gel-like substance is a mesh of microorganisms capable of forming a sealed vacuum around the creature's jaws. A thin layer of helium is stored within the outer membrane, providing buoyancy. Ugh. Life form has been observed almost exclusively attaching to large boulders, appears entirely vulnerable to artificial detachment, and indiscriminate in it, in what it is reattached to. That's strange. Assessment: more information needed. These could be the dry. These could be like the drive heads of the um of the story. These could be the evil masterminds that shot us down. And they look evil. They do. I don't know what it is about them. They just look. Oh, I have an infinite supply of photos now because I uh, picked one up on my own creative. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've picked up an a uh, leviathan, apparently. I have one in my pocket. There you go. I've shrunken down a leviathan. Instead of honey, I shrunk the kids. Honey, I shrunk the leviathan. So, if you're liking the series of Subnautica Experimental, then give it a like. If you're feeling really generous, subscribe to become a crunchy today. But until the next one, I will see you guys in the next one. Ta-ra, my friends.